Allender Canyon is the second largest canyon in the United States. It's roughly 120 miles long, about 20 miles wide, and roughly 800 feet deep. As we drive across the flat, table-like expanse of the High Plains, we don't really know what's coming up at Paladuro until we see Timber Creek Canyon, which forms off on the right-hand side of the road, about two miles west of the park. Here you can see a good exposure of that caliche sand and gravel formation that covers the entire West Texas High Plains. At the Visitor Center, you can get an up-close look at one of the most important rocks in West Texas, the famous Ogallala Formation. Paladura Canyon was created over millions of years by one simple process, erosion. Here is a good example of how that erosion over time evolved into this canyon. Water washes down and it hits some of these slightly more resistant sandstone beds and it washes out the shale underneath. And what we have here is actually a natural bridge that's formed under a shale layer where this water has eroded through it. Now over time this will continue and this will break down and wash on out and as this occurs, the walls of the canyon slowly recede and the canyon gets bigger. Not all of the rocks that you find at Paladero are actually from this area. As a matter of fact, a lot of these strange looking gravel sized cobbles come from the faraway Rocky Mountains. They were washed down here about 10 million years ago as a part of the lower portions of this Ogallala Formation. Ogallala, we step far back in time, about 225 million years, with these Triassic Age rocks. These rocks are important because they hold up many of the Paladuro area rock formations, such as the lighthouse. They're made up of solid sandstones and shales in many colors. It's quite beautiful rock. Contact between the Trujillo and the Tecovas formations of the Dockham group of Triassic rocks here in the park can be seen near the bottom of the hill. 